Welcome to the Sports Moment from the Washington Post, your ticket to the Summer Olympics. It is Saturday, August 10th, and I'm Ava Wallace, a sports reporter here in Paris. Today, the winners of the Paris Games by medals per capita and the meaning of the Olympics from the bronze medal decathlon winner, Lyndon Victor from Grenada. First, let's do the medal table. Here is the gold medal count as of 9 a.m. this morning in Paris. The United States and China are tied for first with 33 gold medals each. The U.S. still leads in the overall medal count with 111 medals. And Australia is in third with 18 gold medals. Okay, here are some things you might have missed yesterday. At track and field, Shakari Richardson ran an absolutely blistering anchor leg in the women's 4x100 to push the United States from fourth to first and help the Americans claim their first gold medal in that event since 2016. It was such a dramatic race. Richardson was running in the rain. You should definitely look up the pictures when you have a moment. It was a really cool way to kind of start to wind down the track meet here in Paris. The U.S. men were not as fortunate. A badly botched handoff meant they were disqualified in the same event, extending a streak where they haven't found the podium on the 4x100 since 2004. In boxing, the Algerian Iman Khalif won the gold medal and was carried around the ring on her coach's shoulders in celebration at Roland Garros, where they're having boxing here in Paris. Khalif has been at the center of furor over a pretty bizarre controversy at this point after leaders of the International Boxing Association, which does not run the boxing competition here at the Olympics, has without evidence challenged the fact that she is a woman. So that felt like a very big moment for Khalif last night. The U.S. women's basketball team rolled into its eighth consecutive gold medal game with a win over Australia yesterday. It was their 60th straight win at the Olympics. They have not lost since August 5th, 1992, and will face France on Sunday. It is quite a streak there for the Americans. And finally, breaking, which you might know as breakdancing, made its Olympic debut to some mixed reviews. Japan's Ami won gold, but an Australian university lecturer might have had the most eyes on her. She had a creative routine, shall we say, that you might have seen going viral last night. So that was uh, an interesting night for breakdancing. So tomorrow is the last day of the Olympics, very sad, and people have started reflecting on their big moments from Paris, me included, but I did not win a medal, sadly. One of the coolest nights that happened was last Saturday on the track. You had two neighboring Caribbean islands winning their first gold medals ever. That was Julian Alfred of St. Lucia won the women's 100 meters, and Thea Lafond of Dominica won in the women's triple jump. The nearby island of Grenada also won a medal on the same night when Lyndon Victor got bronze in the decathlon. St. Lucia and Grenada each went on to win another medal later in the games when Julian Alfred won silver in the women's 200 meters and Grenada's Anderson Peters won bronze in the men's javelin. These are countries with relatively small populations, especially when you compare them to traditional Olympic powers. By that, I mean kind of the countries who sit at the top of the medal table, the United States, China, Japan, South Korea. St. Lucia has about 180,000 people. Grenada has about 126,000 people. And Dominica has about 73,000 people. (laughs) So if you look at the medal table by per capita, that places those three countries as the winners of the Paris Olympics. For those athletes that won, Alfred, Lafond, and Victor, it was an unbelievable night. Yeah, I mean, that, that was just a crazy night. I think that's the night that we remember forever. All three of us were doing a victory lap at the same time, and we're just like, what? What? We really did that? That's Lyndon Victor of Grenada talking to our senior producer, Ted Muldoon. Grenada, Caribbean island, 120,000 people. It's, it's not the easiest place to train, especially if you want to do the, the, the decathlon. Like, we don't have the resources. So the decathlon is 10 track and field events. Uh, we start the day with 100 long jump shot put, High jump, 400, 110 hurdles, discus, pole vault, javelin, and at the end, we run the 1500. And these 10 events is divided into two days. So we have like 30 minutes rest in between them and, the, and five each day. That's a lot. Yeah. I mean, you got to be a little bit insane to want to do that. Well, right? well, I was just looking at Anderson in a qualifying run, and I'm like, I can't believe you just took one throw. And your day is done. He's a javelin thrower? He's a javelin thrower. Looking at that just blew my mind because I'm like, what? 
I literally just spend the last 48 hours in the sun trying to win a medal, and you guys just la 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 la. So the decathlon is just, it's intense. It's like training for the decathlon. This is actually my, like, year 10. I'm 31 now, and I finally won an Olympic medal. The moment I found out I won that medal, you know, I, I, there's a lot of thoughts flashing through my head at the, at the same time, you know. All my failures, all, all the people that helped me get there, just what it mean for my country, what it mean for the people of Grenada, what it mean for my family, what it mean for myself. You know, there's just a million thoughts, but, like, I think the biggest one for me was just being grateful. It, like, knowing the way that we grew up, and, like, we didn't grow up the richest or anything like that, and to see that... My mom flew from Grenada, and she's in Paris to watch her son. Like, when you put that in perspective, you know, it's just, it's just humbling you know, to know that for countries that has 100,000 people to go up against the empires of the world and to come out on top and to win medals is just a testament that you don't have to be rich or come from a wealthy family to win an Olympic medal. With an Olympic medal comes down to how hard you want to work for it. That's the beauty of the Olympics. That's what makes the Olympics so special. That was the men's decathlete bronze medal winner, Lyndon Victor of Grenada. Before we go, here are a couple of big events happening today. Just to note, all of these times are in Eastern time, as usual. In women's soccer, the United States plays Brazil in the gold medal game at 11 a.m. Eastern. That's going to be a very big one for both countries. Track and field medals will be awarded in an evening session, the last session of the track meet here. That begins at 1 p.m. Eastern. And in men's basketball, the United States plays host country France for the gold medal at 3.30 p.m. Eastern. That is going to be an absolutely electric atmosphere at Bercy Arena. Got LeBron James, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant going up against home sensation Victor Wimbanyama. I will not be there. I wish I could. That's it for today on The Sports Moment. If you want more up-to-date information about the latest news from Paris, you should also subscribe to my newsletter, which is also called The Sports Moment. You can find a link to The Sports Moment newsletter in our show notes. Today's episode was produced and mixed by Ted Muldoon. It was edited by Joe Tone. I'm Ava Wallace. Until next time from Paris. Paris.